Hello, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk. You know, we try and gear these Tech Talk sessions around uh, frequently asked questions that we get in our engineering department. And a question that's been coming up more and more frequently happens to be about coefficient of friction. And when you're designing plastic plane bearings, coefficient of friction, or friction in general, is a very important factor. Uh, friction generates heat, and heat is a big problem for plastic bearings. So what I thought I'd do is talk a little bit about coefficient of friction and how we use it in the design of non-metallic plastic plane bearings. Now, first of all, friction by definition is a, a ratio of forces required to move two materials against each other and the force required to make that happen. So when we look at those friction numbers that you see on data sheets, we have to look at them with a bit of understanding that those numbers are really for comparative purposes only. Those are not numbers that are locked in and something that you can necessarily use for your application unless by some freak chance your application is exactly the same as the test parameters that were used. But that's highly unlikely, so you really need to look at those numbers and use them for comparison purposes only. Now, friction is kind of a unique thing because uh, there are so many factors that come into play. Uh, it's not just a number. Um, there are things like surface finish. Uh, how was the surface that's mating against the plastic bearing, how was it prepared? Uh, we have data that shows very clearly that certain types of preparation of that metal surface can make all the difference in the world in what your friction is going to be and ultimately what the wear factor of that part is going to be as well. So the type of preparation, the ultimate surface finish, uh, what is the mating surface material? Is it steel? Is it stainless? Is it aluminum? Uh, all of these things come into play because, again, friction generates heat, and heat is the biggest killer of a plastic bearing that there is. Now, I also want to talk to you a little bit about one of the oddities of coefficient of friction in plastic bearings, and that has to do with PTFE or Teflon-based materials. This would be bearing materials like Rulons and Ultraflons and Fluorescent, and similar types of products. Now the normal theory, if you look at some of the old friction theories from ancient days, um, they talk about how force uh, loads and speeds uh, relate to friction. And in every case, those physical theories say that higher loads mean higher friction, higher speeds mean higher friction, and that's very true with most materials not so true with the PTFE materials. In fact, 180 degrees opposite with PTFE materials. The rule of thumb is the higher the load, the lower the friction. The higher the speed, the lower the friction. Now that's a general uh, look at PTFE, but it's pretty clear from, from test data that we have and from practical application that uh, Teflon PTFE type bearings are very, very sensitive to loads and speeds and can make all the difference in the world on the performance of that particular bearing. I'll give you an example. Um, I've had situations with customers where they will design a part and use so much material thinking that they need that material for carrying the load um, that they actually increase the friction because again with PTFE the higher the load is the lower the friction so we need to generate high surface contact loads and that usually means reducing the amount of surface contact area. So, you know, think, think about coefficient of friction again. Um, the numbers are for comparison. There are so many other factors um, and we are more than happy to help you identify uh, in your design how much surface area you need, uh, what material is going to be ultimately the best material for you in terms of the load carrying capabilities and its relationship with coefficient of friction and you know utilize our, our uh, capabilities at TriStar and our experience at TriStar to help you dial in what frictional values you really want for your application. Uh, we invite you to go to our website tstar.com uh, it's, a, it's an interactive site, so we invite you to send questions into the engineering department specifically about coefficient of friction. Uh, and, you know, friction relates to heat, and heat relates to wear. 
So it all goes hand in hand with the design of non-metallic plane bearings. Thanks again for joining us. We hope this is uh, in information that's valuable to you, and we look forward to having you join us again. Thanks very much.